The eighth step of a science project is to form your conclusion. So now that you've analyzed your data, you have an idea of what happened during your experiment. So for example, for the ice cube um, experiment, how fast will ice melt on different surfaces, her conclusion was, my hypothesis was correct, ice cubes melted fastest on marble and slowest on styrofoam. Simple conclusion. For this, for olfactory fatigue, it was a little more, um, she had a little more. My hypothesis was correct for the cinnamon bread and the lemon, but not for chocolate milk. The smell of the cinnamon bread and the lemon dwindled fastest when I smelled it right after smelling Listerine. The smell of the chocolate milk didn't change, so it must use totally different smell receptors than the Listerine. Also, when things were hot, they smelled stronger at first, and they, the smell usually lasted the longest. So she learned quite a bit about the olfactory system through this project. You can see through her conclusion. And then finally, with this project, um, good bones, bad bones, the question again was, do different liquids change bone strength? Her conclusion was, my hypothesis was correct. The acidic vinegar made bones weaker, faster. Even though the bones in Pepsi and coffee did almost the same as the bones in water, for the first few hours, they were able to bend further before breaking after four hours of cooking. The bones in coffee started breaking sooner than the rest, which makes me think they were getting brittle, so they had to be bent very carefully. After a few hours, the bones cooked in vinegar bent really far and were terribly mushy. This happened because vinegar is acidic and helps to break apart the calcium carbonate into carbon dioxide and calcium oxide. The carbon dioxide flies away, but the calcium oxide stays in the liquid. As I expected, cooking the bones in liquid did speed up the reactions. So for your conclusion, you get to add a little bit extra of what you learned during the process, and it just makes your project more interesting.